The intriguing case of polydactyly. Why do some people have extra fingers or toes? Patient presentation. A four-month-old male infant was brought into the clinic by his parents for a scheduled well-child visit. The child was born with six fingers on his left hand, a condition identified as polydactyly at birth. The extra digit is fully formed and functional. Family history reveals that the paternal grandfather also had polydactyly. Inheritance. Polydactyly can be inherited in an autosomal dominant manner, although it can also occur sporadically. In this case, the condition appears to have been passed down from the paternal side of the family. Statistics. Males and females are equally affected. Surgical removal is the most common treatment and is usually performed in infancy or early childhood to ensure the least amount of psychological impact. The procedure's complexity depends on the extra digit's anatomical structure. 1. Famous figures. Hollywood actor Gemma Arterton was born with an extra finger on each hand. Historical importance. Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII, was rumored to have polydactyly, which some considered a sign of witchcraft at the time. Polydactyly, the presence of extra digits on the hands or feet, has garnered varying degrees of cultural and historical relevance. Here are some key points. Cultural significance. In some cultures, polydactyly is considered a sign of good fortune or special powers. During the European witch trials, polydactyly was sometimes viewed as a sign of witchcraft. Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, was rumored to have had an extra finger, although historical evidence is inconclusive. Tribal beliefs. In some indigenous cultures, individuals with polydactyly were considered to have heightened spiritual powers or were designated for specific societal roles based on this unique characteristic. Medical history. Polydactyly is one of the oldest congenital conditions known to medicine, with cases documented in ancient Egyptian scrolls and in early medical literature. Myths and legends. In certain mythologies, gods or mythological creatures are depicted with extra limbs or digits, though these are not always in line with human polydactyly. Legal and ethical issues. The surgical removal of extra digits is sometimes the subject of ethical debates, especially when the procedure is carried out on infants for aesthetic reasons rather than medical necessity. Influence on art. In art history, figures with extra digits have been painted or sculpted, either as a symbol of something greater or as a direct representation of someone known to the artist to have the condition. Superstitions. Even in contemporary society, superstitions about polydactyly persist, ranging from good luck charms to ill omens. Museum exhibits. Specimens of polydactyly have been displayed in medical museums, often to illustrate the range of human anatomical diversity. Summary. Polydactyly is a congenital condition that can be inherited or occur sporadically. Its cultural and historical relevance make it an intriguing subject for both medical professionals and laypeople alike. For further information. For more detailed information on polydactyly, please refer to the latest medical publications, case studies, and guidelines from trusted health organizations.